Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use time.delta time and make sort of like a countdown or a timer or some sorts. So let's create a script and call it uh, count. Alright, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you guys. Alright, let's make a float. Public pubic. <laughs> public float uh, value, I guess. And then start. Let's set value to equal zero. All right, and then in your update, let's do a value equals value plus equals time dot delta time is that how you do it plus it equals time dot delta time that might have been right okay add your script to uh, main camera so you can see it and you'll see, let me restart it. You'll see that here's your value. It's at zero and you push start. And there you go, it's starting to count. It's gonna count forever. Now we can set a limit to this count. Go back to your script and let's make a function or method real quick called reset count add it to your update function resets the count down adds content I don't know if that's how you spell it uh, public float has uh, pretty self-explanatory All right, let's, oh, I've already explained it. All right, let's reset it by doing an if statement. If value is greater than five, then set value equal to zero and let's save it and run it let's check it out right here there you go it's set back to zero all right that's how you do uh time dot delta time with a float to do sort of like a timer or countdown it's really useful for uh cooldowns when you you want a uh, say you, you fire a gun and you want it to wait a few seconds before you can shoot again or I'm using it in my new game with uh, the power of a golf swing and uh, 
if the value is five, then my golf swing is, you know, maxed out. If its value when it's a value is one, then it's a weak swing. So there's some cool, cool stuff you can do with that. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and subscribe, comment, suggest videos, or message me and stuff like that. Thanks, guys.